Muy buenos días. Mm. Good morning. Thank you for inviting me to take part in this conference. Okay, I'll, I'll be brief. My short presentation will um, illustrate practical cases of waste prevention in Catalonia. I'll we'll talk about what Jean-Pierre spoke about, the uh, European waste management approach, um, paper bags, strategic approach to waste, food waste, talk about uh, plan called desmaterialization and also recycling approaches. Now, the European Week for Waste Prevention is a European initiative. Now, in the past, many different partners have uh, taken part. The Catalonian Waste Management Agency, for example, and now this included various different technical areas. We had thematic work days, uh, thematic conferences, you can see historically from 2008 to 2016, we've studied various different areas in this Waste Prevention European Week. And we are trying to tackle, reduce, reuse and recycle. Uh, and recently we have also incorporated not only provincial, but clean up days. Let's Clean Up Europe is an initiative that we have begun to incorporate into this Prevention Week because through these initiatives we can raise awareness on all issues related to waste and waste management and suitable waste management approaches. So we tackle prevention through consumption and production. Uh, we involve public administrations, uh, also business, schools and associations, and we also organise various different activities, conferences, seminars, workshops, um, demonstration events, second-hand markets, flea markets, all kinds of different activities. And these activities have allowed us to disseminate uh, not only in our cities and regions, regions, but across borders in other countries, and we've been able to illustrate pre prevention approaches and uh, spread them to wider markets. In 2015, we involved 33 countries, 40 regions, and all of these together in November are going to undertake over 12,000 activities. In Catalonia alone, 1,000 activities. So. The European Waste Prevention Week is a European initiative, but for us, it's a perfect pretext for us to be able to work year-round on implementing all the different strategies that we can share during this week and then apply throughout the rest of the year. So that's one of the things that we do. Another area is to do with single-use plastic bags. In Catalonia, 2006, 2007, we had a wide-ranging civic and political debate on what we're going to do with our plastic bags. Now, this was certainly a problem. Mm, it forms not, point, not, 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 not something percent of everything that's in our landfill sites, but it's highly volatile. It has a contaminating components. So it is a problem and it is a type of waste that is, uh, appears at every different uh, phase of the waste management process. So we had a parliamentary debate in our region. We considered a plastic bag tax compared to the tax that was introduced in certain countries of Europe, specifically in Scotland at that time. But we did not bring in this tax at that time, but what we did was introduce a plastic bag pact. And the idea of this pact was first to quantify the problem. If we want to solve a problem, we need to understand the problem in the first place. We therefore need to analyse the problem, we need to then come up with objectives on how to reduce the problem. 
So this is what we did in Catalonia in 2007. At this time, we consumed 45 million plastic bags a week. This was equivalent to two and a half billion plastic bags every year, which is really a huge amount of plastic bags. So the plastic bag pact was a voluntary agreement between private sector and the logistics part of re the recycling process and basically we decided that we would try and reduce consumption and use of single-use plastic bags by 50% in the coming year. Now we needed to examine the how we could actually bring about this reduction. We didn't define specific paths but we left all the stakeholders free to choose how they would achieve their objectives so each individual stakeholder could then decide which would be the best way to bring this number down. So 2007 to 2012 we uh, set up this plan and we have been able to reduce by more than 50% by precisely 52.4% so that's 156 plastic bags per person per year. Mm. So this was our first success story, although it wasn't a complete success story because mm, in Catalonia we still have shopping centres and supermarkets that have reduced this number, but when we look at uh, smaller uh, uh, salespersons and shops, they have not reached these targets. So we're looking at the plastic bag pact. Now our next objective is to reduce plastic bag consumption by 90% by 2020. And as part of our new agreement, we have prevented plastic bags from being freely distributed in uh, shops and establishments from the 1st of January 2016. So we have drawn up a law, it's a bill because it's not let you've been approved, so hopefully it will be approved later this year. And uh, regardless, it is an agreement that has been applied by many different supermarkets throughout Catalonia as well as commercial networks in our region. And they are beginning now to charge a voluntary amount for these plastic bags. Some charge two cents, five cents, ten cents. Um, basically, so that uh, people cannot be provided with free plastic bags. And we're also uh, promoting various different alternatives to plastic bags. They can be trolleys or wicker bags or any, anything similar. And different area, uh, reduce food waste. This is a real serious problem. It's a social, ethical, environmental and economical problem. In 2010, we uh, analysed the situation. We analysed the household situation and situation in Horeca Channel and in supermarkets. And we, our conclusions were, were that 34.9 kilos were produced per person per year of food waste. Each person in Catalonia is throwing away 35 kilos of food. Now if we multiply this by all the inhabitants, that's, that's 262,000 tonnes of food waste every year. The cost of this approximately is 112 euros per person or 841 million euros per year for our region. So this is a problem of awareness, it's a financial problem, but it's also an environmental problem. Because if we think beyond the waste, if we think of the cost of buying all of these 260,000 tonnes of food waste every year, then this would have cost a surface area equivalent of 230,000 hectares of useful agricultural surface area in our country and also the equivalent of 520,000 tonnes of CO2 emissions. So we are um, committed to this area of food waste. We are involving all the various different sectors. We need to analyze one sector, which is manufacturing and agricultural produ production and distribution. 
And we are also uh, undertaking various different actions, not only environmental actions, but also cross-cutting actions with other different governmental institutions. And at present, we have many people suffering hunger, but we have an excess of food. This is uh, a, a crazy paradox. And we've also organized Sonjint de Profit. We are uh, people who can profit. That's a campaign that we've organized. And we have a website, sonjintdeprofit.cat. We have TV programs uh, where we invite uh, luminaries and celebrities to give advice on how to avoid food waste. We also have traveling shows to raise awareness. We also have an app which gives tips on how to use, conserve uh, food and foodstuffs so that we can make better use of it and not throw it away. And also we're supplying people with re uh, recipes so that they can make use of the food that's left over at the end of the day. We also have um, public activities, workshops, we have guidelines for restaurant professionals so that they can understand exactly how to manage their uh, food purchase. And we also had an event in 2014 in Barcelona. We copied it from other countries. It was the, 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 the big meal in Barcelona so that we could gather all the food that was about to be thrown away. And we had more than 150 volunteers who provided food, more than four tons of uh, food that had been thrown away. And we provided food to 4,000 different people. And we also have looked at the problem with food that's ugly and gets thrown away just because it doesn't comply with length or aesthetics requirements. Well, this food can be used to make jam or other types of pr uh, produce or products. Also, we have another awareness campaign before buying and consuming Think. We also have European Fusions program where we are raising awareness on food waste amongst all sectors of society. And then finally, uh, we organized a prevention workshop called Desmaterialisation. Mm. And this is something, if we look at the Swiss Army knife, and the Swiss Army knife has, Swiss Army knife has many different functions. You can do many things with it, and perhaps this helps us to become aware of the issues involved. And then the next image, we have something in our pocket, smartphone, which plays the role of GPS, fax, email, computer, uh, camera, so on and so forth. So all of these tools are packed into a smartphone. Uh, smartphone. And this is an illustration of how we can better use what we have and also, talking about the sharing economy, we can talk about share carpooling, flat sharing, all these things that are related to the sharing economy. Next point, planning. Obviously, we need uh, regulatory support. We need planning. We need financial assistance too. Mm, we have the 2020 um, plan for... Uh, packaging, recycling, and we have a plan for 2020 in Catalonia for uh, packaging waste recycling. Obviously, we have various different uh, aspects in this plan. We have 15% reduction objective for all waste altogether by 2020 compared to 2010. Another area is, these are quite general, but we have specific objectives which include the 90% food waste reduction, so excuse me, 50% reduction in food waste, and the introduction of uh, biodegradable bags and reduction of plastic bag use by 90%. We have also set a, a reduction in single-use tray uh, this is another area. So uh, that's what we're doing basically in Catalonia. And thank you for your attention. Thank you.